Hi everyone and welcome in a beautiful road. In today's practice, we are going to work on our splits. So if this is one of your targets, you want to improve your splits, you are in the right place. Now, before we start, please remember to subscribe, not to miss any other classes, fitness classes or yoga practices. Now let's start today in a butterfly pose. So we just keep the feet together, knees opening to the side, straight your spine, shoulders down, open chest. And meanwhile, we are warming up our hips. We take a moment here to focus on the breathing. So we slowly inhale through the nose. Slowly exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose, feel your belly coming out. Exhale through the nose, feel the belly coming in. Now every exhalation, just feel your hips opening, knees getting down. We send those exhale into our hips. Feel our hamstrings being released. Any tension that we are holding there being released. Slowly getting ready for the class. Try to keep on breathing slowly through the whole class, especially to be safe, to not to hurt our muscles, not to pull our muscles or hamstrings. Just slowly breathe through, listen to your body and get just as far as possible. Everyone's body is different, built different. So just do what feels right for you at that moment. We slowly start to straight the legs in front, then that's gonna make sure your spine is still straight. You can just shuffle the glutes a little bit back. As we exhale, we just try to get a little bit closer with the belly to the thighs. You don't have to reach for your toes, but of course, if you feel like reaching for them, Pulling yourself a little bit closer with your index and middle finger. Let's do so. If you feel comfortable here, of course, you can get with the hands behind the feet. Keep on breathing slowly. Let's stay for three deep breaths. Two. One, slowly up. Let's bend now the left leg, open the knee to the side. Keep your hips square. Again with your peace fingers, just try to go around your thumb, bring yourself a little bit closer as you exhale, if you feel like with the head to get closer to your knee. If it's too much, just look at your toes. But of course, you can just stay also around your ankle or calf. Now we reach for the thumb, everyone. You can bend in case a little bit your knees, straight your spine again, keep the elbow inside of your knee, one hand down, bring the foot closer. As you exhale, try to straight to the side just as much as possible. You know, so open the hip a bit to the side, be careful here. Focus on one point in front of you. Keep your drishti. Then bring it back to the center and we bend the right knee, straightening the left leg. Try again to reach for your toes. If it's not possible in the beginning, just grab your calf. Trying to bring ourselves as far as possible. Breathing slowly. My discover one side is a little bit more difficult than the other. That's absolutely normal. 
support yourself with your right hand bend your knee bring the foot closer to yourself elbow is inside and just open the leg to the side so open your hip keep your drishti looking front straight spine if you need to keep the knee a bit bended that's fine don't hold your breath even if it's challenging for you bring the leg back to the center bends cross your legs here catch your breath now let's bring the weight of our body a little bit in front so we are on the hands doing one two steps back into our plank squeeze your glutes here and just push your hips up straightening the spine first you can start with your bended legs slowly as you exhale start to go with your heels against the ground downward facing dog breathe breathe here for three two one with the hands we walk closer to the body bend a little bit your knees keep your head down closer to your knees you can bend a little bit then first we straight the legs and then we roll up with the spine shoulders and head is the last samastiti from here let's just open your legs try to keep them more or less same as your wrist if you're opening like this down with the hands straight with the spine trying to keep the power the strength on the palms bend a little bit your elbows don't relax completely with your head just look in between your hands and as I'm keeping the balance the strength on my hands I just move the weight on one side playing with the straight legs going up with the toes going a little bit deeper into our hip and again with the foot in front moving to the other side going up with the toes deeper with our hips back in front to the middle let's try one more time moving the weight on one side you can stay on your toes if you get the balance stay on your heel up with the toes of the straight leg deeper 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 and one more time to the other side working on our hips mobility so nothing can surprise us later going back to the middle slowly placing hands on the hips getting with the body up closing the feet one next to each other now let's start from up the beginning same like in sun salutation inhale let's arch back if you can exhale hands together head is going to the knees inhale let's go in half a lengthen straight spine shoulders down Exhale with one, two steps back down with Chaturanga. Inhale, let's go in up dog. I'm just on my feet, on my hands, squeezing the glutes, opening the chest. Exhale, let's go up with the hips, downward facing dog. Press with your heels against the ground. Slow down your breath. now we look between the hands we slowly go up with the right leg just as much as you can keep your hip square then bend a little bit open your hip and once you're ready we will make one big step in front with the right going down on the knee relaxing the back foot sliding back with the knee just to keep a big distance between the front foot and the knee now we go with the hands one next to each other and we're gonna do one movement again is for the hip mobility and to warm up our hips from inside and the hamstrings so what we do please breathe 
and be careful here. We open the knee to the side. Coming back, inhale. Exhale, straightening the front leg, toes are up. Inhale, bending, straight your spine. Exhale, open the knee to the side. Inhale, let's come back. Exhale, straight. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, bend. Exhale, open the knee. Inhale, back up. Exhale, straight. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, open the knee. Inhale, up with the knee. Exhale, straight. Now let's stay with the leg bended. Again, we let the knee fall down to the side. Just this time, we will help ourselves a little bit more with the hands. So just push, push, push. If you feel comfortable, you can go with the other arm down on your elbow. Again, be careful, listen to your body. If there is any kind of shooting pain, just stop, do step back. Try to keep back straight. Stay for three. Two. One. Coming back with the knee. Up on the hands, till the hands are next to each other, on your toes, up with the knee. Try to push a little bit lower with your belly. So I'm not rounding my back. Try to go down in the belly, putting more weight on my hips. Here, we go with the front foot in the middle, in between the hands. There's a big distance between my front foot and my back foot. You can stay here. If you feel comfortable, going up with the arms, every exhale, feeling that I'm going lower into the hips. Stay in control, be careful. Don't relax the back knee. Breathe slowly. And let's stay down with the hands. Exhale, we straight the front leg. You can slowly move the weight on the back foot. If you're going on the heel, lifting up the front foot, front toes. And even add a little bit of movement. So going on the front foot, pushing with the left heel down. Front foot, left heel down, getting closer with the head to the knee. Bending the front leg again. Now from here, let's go again down with the knee. Relax your foot. You can slide a little bit back and just try to see how low you can get, okay? You don't have to do the split today, so you can stay a little bit higher. You can just try to straight a bit the front leg. You see, once you will practice these movements every day, you will see the progress soon. So just see how far you can go. Try to keep your hips square. Be careful here. Don't go fast into it. Be aware of every movement of your body. Stay just for a while. If you have pain, let's come back. Then we go with the hands together, slowly shuffling the back knee in front. Having the strength on the hands, step back. Feet together, knees together. Child pose. Let's come back to the plank. Hands under the shoulders, squeeze your glutes. As we exhale, going up with the hips. Press your heels down, catch your breath. Now look between your hands, keeping the hip square. You will try to go up with the left leg. Just as much as possible. Square with the hip, straight spine. 
Then bend the knee. Open, open, open the hip to the side. Look between your hands. One big step in front with the left. Going down on the knee. Slide a little bit back. Relax your back foot. Hands are next to each other. Now working on the hip mobility and to warm up the muscles. We just, with the exhale, open the knee to the side carefully. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, stay. Inhale, bend. Exhale, open to the side. Inhale, up. Exhale, straight. Two more times. Inhale, bend. Straight back. Exhale, open the knee. Inhale, up. Exhale, straight. And again, inhale, front, push into your hips. Exhale, knee to the side. Up and back. Very good. Now let's stay in the front leg bended. Feel the knee again, go to the side. Just this time we help ourselves with the hands, with the palm. You can stay on your hands or bend a bit or getting down on your elbow. Just press a bit, keep on breathing. Opening that hip, stretching that glute muscle. Then we come back with the knee, getting up with the hands. Slowly on the toe, up with the knee, getting that foot in the middle, in between the hands. Still trying to keep a big distance between the front foot and the back toes. Now we can stay down with the hands, which is fine. If you feel sure, flexible and ready enough today, go up with your arms. Stay strong with your knee, just as you exhale, going down with the hips. Breathe slowly, using your belly. Every exhale, getting deeper into your hips. Keep your drishti, look in front. And then we go down with the hands. Try to keep the distance between your feet. Exhale, straight the front leg. If you feel sure, just slowly lift up the toes on your front foot, push into this heel. And again, moving front on the whole foot. Exhale, moving a little bit back. Let's try again, moving front. Exhale, back. Inhale, moving front. Exhale, back. Now let's just stay for a bit, trying to get with your head closer to your knee. Feel that hamstring stretching up. Try just to breathe slowly, breathe through. If the knee is a little bit bent, it is better to stay safe. So keep it bended if you don't feel like straightening it just yet. And we bend again, going down with the knee, sliding back. And we slowly try to straight the front leg. Now, this is not something that you gotta do today. You don't have to do the split. You just need to go slow, slowly go down slowly with the awareness, with the control. So just slowly open your legs. Each side is a little bit different. Slide and going into your hips. This is where you can check your progress. See if you see an improvement. So don't get discouraged, slowly down. You feel every time get a little bit lower, stay there for a few breaths. 
Not that I get to get down completely, just to check in here. Where we are, how that feels. Square hips. Hands together. Then be careful when you come back. It's not an elegant way how to do it if you're just practicing. So don't worry. Press into your hands one step back, getting into the child pose. Hands in front. Now let's go back on the hands underneath, just this time we sit on our glutes, we will try to finish in the same way as we started, so first we go in Dandasana, just trying to reach for the feet, stretching the hamstrings, bringing our head a little bit closer to the knees, it should be easier than it was in the beginning, so already here you can check on your progress, check how you feel. Slowly straightening the spine, getting to our butterfly, feet together, opening the knees, sit straight, every exhale knees are going down. Then cross your legs. Relax your hands on your knees. And just take a moment here to reconnect with your breath. And in your mind, just say thank you to yourself for showing up, for creating a new challenge for your body, for sticking up with your dreams and with your targets and with your goals. Just made a promise to carry on with your practice. To be patient. And to show up again. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Namaste.